Grand Prix Insights is presented by Allianz. In my Mercedes GP Petronas Formula One car, on the straights, I'm usually traveling at more than 300 kilometers per hour. And sometimes even in fast corners, we're still doing up to 250 kilometers per hour. So there's very, very big G-forces acting on the driver. And I probably couldn't even drive the Formula One car without being buckled up in my seat belts. Because especially in braking, I would probably fall right onto the steering wheel and I wouldn't be able to see where I'm going anymore. At the same time also, the seat belts need to be put so tight that it makes it very physically demanding to race in the car because I just struggle to breathe properly. A Formula One driver's seat belt is a six point safety harness that has to withstand loads of up to one and a half thousand kilograms in an impact. The upper part of the webbing is made from a lightweight uh, military spec polyester and then all the fittings are made from aircraft grade titanium. I can't buckle up myself, so once I get into the car, the mechanic has to lean in and tighten them up, and it's quite a complicated procedure. But at the same time, I need to be able to get out of the car very quickly. So with the push of a button, I can release the belts myself, and there's this rule where the FIA actually tests us that we need to be able to jump out within 10 seconds and also put the steering wheel back onto the car. So uh, to be honest, I would never ever drive my car um, without being buckled up. Grand Prix Insights was presented by Allianz.